So you've been working on a project forever and ever, and there you go, you, you finally win. This thing you've been working on forever, you finally win. The next thing that comes up on your mind, oh, I've gotta tell my friends, I've, I've gotta let them know that I, I finally achieved this, this project that I've been failing on. They've been inspiring me. They've been telling me, oh, you got this, bro. They've been telling me that I can do it. So obviously I would love to tell them. So you finally get to your friends, you tell them, yo, I actually did it. You see one of them have a dry reaction, a fake congrats. The other one tells you congrats, but he tells you congrats, but you should have done this better, but you should have done that. The other one downplays your success. Oh, you did it, yeah, uh, but it's not here. You're, you're, you're not there yet. You haven't won yet. The other one, what are you celebrating for? You, you didn't even get anything done. Next thing you know, you start to hear things about People talking behind your back, things coming to you that you wouldn't expect. You thought they would support you, right? Now, this video is going to be about choosing your right friends and choosing the people that are going to help you grow rather than hinder you. In my previous video, I spoke about depression and the top three ways to get rid of it. And one of them was to choose your, caref your circle carefully. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the different types of friend groups and who you should watch out for and the early signs of a fake friend or a fake relationship that you need to get out of immediately. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, before we start the video, guys, I have a clothing brand. We just dropped our latest drop, Dead Space. This is the clothing brand, Coast Apparel. Check it out in the link in the description. And also, if you, any of you guys run current YouTube channels, I can automate your channel, doing short form content for your channel. Just click the link below for a free consultation on what you can do to improve, and then we will go from there. Let's get into the video. So the first things first, the reason these people are you know downplaying your success is because it's simply your vision is not their vision. Your vision seems crazy because it's your vision. It seems crazy to other people because they're not thinking how you're thinking. Especially if you have a really ambitious goal that you truly think you can achieve, a lot of people aren't going to believe in that goal the same way that you do. They just don't see what you're saying. You're gonna seem crazy and that's fine. You have to step out of the masses because chances are 99% of the people you meet will not be successful. So you have to be that 1% that, you know, even if you seem a little bit crazy, if you even if you seem a little bit obsessed, that is fine. You would want to seem obsessed. You would want to seem crazy because that means you are going into the right step towards whatever you want to accomplish. Like I said, a lot of your friends aren't going to see what you're seeing and that is completely fine. It's nobody's fault at the end of the day because they might have something that you might think is crazy. So just figure out your vision and try to keep it to yourself because when you start to tell other people, that's when you start to get the advice and that's when you start to get the doubts and the people talking behind your back. Now, the next thing is in human nature, it is a natural human thing to be the first or most powerful in whatever circle you're in. It is a natural thing for people to want to do something before you for people to want to do things first than you. That just kind of dates back to primal times of being the most powerful, being the most wise and knowledgeable. And it's always going to be a competition, even with your real friends, even with your boys that are like your close ones. I, I have some pretty close friends. Um, it's always going to be a competition, especially between men. If you have a lot of male, if you're a man and you have a lot of male friends, it's just going to naturally be a competition all the time. You're going to be going against the next man. You're going to be the guy that chooses to get up earlier than the other man so that you can go on a run or th that you can work on your project early because you want it more than the next person. This is just natural human nature for you to want to be the best at something, which is why I always express, especially in recent times, to keep your distance from people so that you kind of come up as the secret spy. You come up out of nowhere. You want your success to be secret so that nobody can stir you in the wrong direction and nobody can deter you from your path. Like I said, it's human nature. With that, I know I keep saying, don't listen to people. You're crazy. You're obsessed. That comes to my next tip. Never listen to people that aren't in the position that you want to be in. This one is really huge. Next thing you know, you want to become a YouTuber, right? Just an example. You want to become a YouTuber. 
And next thing you know, your bro that has five subs is giving you tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. The guy that doesn't even have a YouTube channel is telling you that your videos are cringy and that you won't make it. Now, hence, your friend, your friend probably doesn't say you will not make it. That's your enemy for sure. <laughs> if you got any of your boys saying you're not gonna make it, but they will say things along that line. Like, oh, maybe you should, you know, take a break from this. Maybe you should stop being so obsessed with this. You might not be able to turn it into a career. Big one here, think realistically. I hate when people tell me, hey, do what's realistic because my goals aren't realistic. They're extremely ambitious and that's just how I like to think. A lot of people, even in my friend group, do not think like that. They say things like that. They say they're gonna be a millionaire. They say they're gonna do this and that, but there's never actually any execution that is being added. So never listen to the people that aren't in your position that aren't in the position you want to be and take advice very lightly. Now that goes vice versa. If you have somebody with more subs than you on YouTube, you know, like I said, the, this is an example YouTuber and they have more subs than you, listen to them. All right, they got a couple more thousand subs than you. Okay, maybe their advice is knowledgeable. Maybe their advice could be useful to you. Be an open book, but just be careful on what you read in that open book. Once you figure out who actually cares about your success, who actually influences you in the correct way, meaning you're not hanging out with people that drink and smoke all the time, that go out all the time, meaning you're hanging out with fellow entrepreneurs that want success just like you, stick to that small pack. You're gonna have, a, it's gonna be small. Stick to the small pack, cater to those people and take care of those people as much as possible because they're gonna be a part of your key to success. They're gonna be a part of your plan. The people that are good for you are gonna be a part of your success. And that could be, you know, obviously, even if you're in a competition with them, you can always uplift them and you can always challenge them to do better. And that's what it just kind of like goes back and forth. Oh, he's challenging me. I gotta get stronger in the gym. Oh, okay, cool. He's doing this better. I gotta do this better. Oh wait, I'm doing this better. He's gonna do this better. And it's an amazing chain reflection. Now, if you got, you know, people that are falling off, people that drink and smoke all the time. Oh, you want to chill. You want to do this. Oh, let's do this. Dude, stay away from those guys. You know, it's fine. You know, you just want to stay away from those influences. Stick with the people that are about their business, that are about what they say and be very careful with who you choose. And that leads me to let my last tip stay away from dreamers and stay close to doers. The people that tend to speak the least are the ones that tend to do the most. You, you're you always gonna have that friend group that's gonna be like, yo, we're gonna make it out, bro. We're gonna do it. And then they're playing video games. They're literally just chilling the whole time. They're not even doing anything. Stay away from those people. Stay away from the talkers. Stay away from the people that are like, we're gonna be a millionaire. We're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, they're not. They're gonna continue saying it year in and year out. They're gonna continue saying it. Stick with the people that are doers. Okay, you see it on their post. They're posting every, let's say they're an influencer or they're an aspiring influencer. You you see it every day. They're posting every day. They're knocking it out. They're not telling you anything. You can see it. Oh, this guy's want, he wants to get stronger in the gym. He tells you maybe once, two years later, this guy is super shredded. He's stronger. He's doing what he says he's gonna do. Stay with those people. Don't listen to the people that talk, talk, talk. Stick with the crew that does the stuff they're gonna do because you're going to end up learning good habits from those people and you're going to end up transforming yourself into those people and molding your personality after those people as well. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want me to run your YouTube channel or get a consulting call, click the link below, it's free. I can go over your plan, just kind of give you the A to Z plan. And then if you want me to run it for you, I'll do it. Um, also check out my clothing brand, guys. We just dropped a new drop and go support if you like it. We always, you know, inspire and this brand is for leaders. So if you're a leader and you want to represent that culture, check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.